that's this side done out for the lintels all propped up they're all safe so far there's not a lot in this thing about 60 brick four courses to damp After our, after our R&R &R rejuvenation day, yesterday. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah. We are back, and the foundation is as good as we could get with what we had. <laughs> this was uh, our very last minute makeshift tamp. It wasn't quite as uh, nice as our other one, but foundation's in. So, got a few tasks today. One of them is obviously get this up to um, damp level, which will be four quarts of brick. And then, in a bit, we'll take you inside and show you what we're doing in there. But, um, yeah, so. Um, you done? So, yeah, so. There's the rundown with that one. Uh, mix it out at the front ready. So we'll, um, yeah, I'll take you in so we can tell you what else is up. So inside, I've already got the acro set up. We're going to be taking a doorway out here. So reason being, because obviously you're probably thinking why we're we putting two doors right next to each other. Reason being, that is going to replace that, what we blocked up yesterday. So that's been double skin blocked up tire wires and bluebirds so we'll be just move we're just essentially moving the doorway here and um, we've got one lintel ready round back there's another one somewhere and um, we're on the front so um, we're gonna see how the weather's gonna play with us today and that'll decide what we do first we're leading towards doing this first since it's sheltered but um if it's going to be nice all day, we can always get the be the brickwork started. That way, we can do the get some slab prep ready today, like get some hardcore tossed in. So we'll see what happens for now. Let's just uh, get the tools out and get cracking. We'll um, we'll get back to you when something exciting happens. So I'll probably see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, catch you in a bit. <clears throat> And actually, a quick side note too, we can show you the uh, slab, I don't know if we've uh, shown you this yet, but that was a nightmare. <laughs> the um, All the insulation had to be taken out because it was all this stuff. So, you can imagine that's not exactly uh, fantastic. And it was all different levels, it was bouncing everywhere. So, we had to take all that out, put some proper, proper stuff in. Uh, and as we were doing that, the concrete company arrived while we were still doing the, ins the installation, so pressure was on. Uh, yeah. I think we've told you this already, but um, just in case, Dad can always edit this out if not, but there we go. And there's the stairs, which we put in yesterday. So now no more scaling a ladder to need the toilet. <laughs> yeah, right, enough babbling. Another quick one actually, while we were off yesterday, Dad, um, finally got this broke out and filled up so we got this sent by Milwaukee the, the other week and it is a full pack out system <laughs> so we've got our bits and bobs we've got, we've got our drawers, oh very nice and uh, the, our toolbox is under there so <laughs> Give me a demonstration. I'm sure my list comes off. So this this was all in in, in a bucket. Just thrown in a bucket so you couldn't find anything. Multiple buckets. Yeah, so now everything we need is to hand. We can see what we're doing and then we just take the things out. We've even got a couple of bluebird ties in there. So all the stuff that's just hidden in boxes and stuff is all we can see where it is now. 
and it's stuck. Trying to stay with us everywhere. Like I said, it, it just um, comes off. And slide it back on. Same with this. Pull the lever forward. Take that off. And there's our toolbox. There you go. Which holds a lot more than it did before. That's why it's so heavy. There's all the main stuff. Oh, where were the uh, where were those things? Uh, we found these hidden in a bucket. And then these have actually been improved, so we're going to get the prototype of the new ones. There you go. We'll do some work, shall we? We can't take that off there. That's, that's the wheels are attached to that. Right, there is a pencil line there. That pencil line is this side of the door. I've just drilled through from the other side. The extension. There you go. Use the long bit to get through there. And that's in. We're going to do Nana's opening. And then if they want it smaller, they can bring it in. And then that's our left hand side. They want it as far over this way as possible, so I've left a four inch nib in the extension and it leaves about 150 nib on this side because I want the door over as far as possible but I think it's always better to leave a bit of a nib especially if we're getting the lintel in so that gives us our seating for this lintel up there and hopefully that one doesn't go into the wall otherwise, well let's see anyway it sh no it should be alright, that still gives us 150 so we can go butt up to it. Yeah, we've got two, two 1200 concrete lintels. There's one there, and I cut the other one at the uh, on Saturday um, outside because it was a 1500. So they're both cut ready. So I think we're going to stitch drill. It's very soft bricks. Be ideal to cut it, but there's no way of blocking this. Well, I suppose we could block this door off. I think the headers are there just below Jewish level. But they. We won't know until we get this plaster off. But yeah, um, these these joists holding this side up, and uh, hopefully, when we get to the other side, it'll be the same. Just put a piece of timber up like that with a hack under it. If not, we've got two strong boys with us, so we're actually come prepared instead of uh, running out of stuff. It's bank holiday Monday, so we need we can't be running off anywhere today. So yeah, that's enough waffling. We're going to get this. I'll get the cutter and get this cut out, and then. Um, get this skin down, get this lintel in, just need to get the heights now from the other side, we're following this lintel so we need to get those two courses out and leave that one course in below the joist, I mean that's probably going to fall out but it's not a big deal, so um, Alex is just getting it mixed done, I'll go get the cutter and get this cut out, so we'll get back to you when the cutting's done and the dust has settled. Here we go. That's the bulk of the mess done now. So we can take that down when the dust has settled a bit. Battery's just run out on the blower, so we're gonna have a break now, get the battery charged. That's the door cut out ready. That's just gonna fall out that skin now, and we'll get that lintel put in pretty much straight away. Got a half up, got a lintel, got a mix on, so lintel first thing after break. Break down, get the barra and chuck it on that pile. Uh, so yeah, head back around the front, get a brew on and we'll get back to the brew. And we're back, now the dust has settled. We've had a brew and a cup and a butty and that. Well, I don't know that's settled, it's all on the floor. But we're just having to use the customer's light because um don't know how to switch that one on. But anyway, the light's shining for us anyway. 
so they're all cut out so that's ready to take down Alex got a barrow ready straight out the door down to the spoil through the window there and I'm going to concentrate on the top knocking out for the lintel so um, let's get this down quick side note this long drill bit here instead of dr the, the room the other side of this is currently being lived in so the less mess the better I made the right mess just drilling that one hole out so what we're going to do is drill customer's own drill bit here we're going to drill through from this side so the drill will just pop out each each one rather than drilling all the way through it and dropping loads of airborne dust in the other room so um, that's we found that so we're going to make use of it what are you going to say? Um, you're going to say a bit, it's the lights on you. while you make a start should I get the wall starters ready? just get them first uh, no because I need to be up there on the pop up passing stuff down to you right, okay. you need to be getting rid of it for me We'll get to that later, but even the wall starters aren't needed today. Hmm? But even the wall starters aren't needed today, no. they're already going up to damp. So we'll just put two bluebirds in. Okay. So, let's crack on, get this done. You, you, you're filming for a minute. Don't let me forget them. Right, lunch is done. We're going to pause in here. We're good to go here. Let's get a little light on. That's this side done. Out for the lintels. All propped up. They're all safe so far. We've drilled everything down. All the stitch drilling's done through from this side. So there's very little dust on the other side. So the um, plan now is get the corners up on the porch get a set up out there on that while one's running in over there the other one can get in getting the lintel in on this hopefully trying to get the two lintels in today then we can do the fest of the brick down tomorrow and get it boarded up tomorrow there's the humidifier there getting some of the moisture out of these stairs in the plastering so we're heading back outside for now there's not a lot in this thing about 60 brick four courses to damp there's our building line, I'm just going to build over that wire, twist it back, take that junction box outside, build that in under there. And then um, there's going to be a starter pack going up here. Not sure if you want this taking off or not, we'll have to see. But as you can see, it's thick. It's thick and it's tough. Yeah, it's tough alright, it's like 3 to 1, probably stronger than 3 to 1. Try and find a bag to stick in these pipes because it stinks. Gonna stay just late, is it? No. It might not even be coming from the pipes, you never know. We are in the country I suppose. Um insulation anyway, any spare insulation just to That bag we had over the door, or the cement bag. Yeah, I'm not sure the smells come from these pipes or not, but we'll block them up anyway. So yeah, get these corners up, get this brick rate running and we'll get it on time lapse.
Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the rendering, isn't it? Yeah. It's the end of the house. That's what it is. Oh. It's okay, carry on. Can't find it. So one should be on the grass. Okay. If I still knew it was render, I'd have brought the big hammer. It's only camera lens then, but it was okay. It was just dust. Back to the action. Here's Johnny. <laughs> So what we've, what we've realised is, hey. I'm just talking to the camera, what we've realised is, that's the old end of the house, so it's got that super duper, Dad? probably two to one render on it, so that's why it's not going through very easy. Very easy. Yes. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Give them that slow-mo. Oh. Yes. You ready? Yep. Yeah. She's a nice slow mo. There's the beauty of a uh, stitch drilling. And then look at that's the that's all the mess that I've got inside. Just need to get a bit of a hoover on it. And that's it. Not bad though. Actually not too worn out and all the all stuff that's to go now. And then um, get these lintel and go for some dinner. That one's just deciding to start moving now, so it's good just in time to get these lintels in. Let's crack on.
like that before it always came out as a ballad. Yeah. And I was like, actually, I'm going to try and write the song here. How it actually feels. So I'm going to up the tempo to about 180. <laughs> and, and really like get across what your heart is doing and what your brain is thinking at 180 beats per minute. Yeah, I just think it's, a, it's the world we're in as well. Where it used to be a bit of a taboo thing. Be in a bed. What? That one could be in a bed. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a bit too easy. Yeah, go down a bit, start again. No good in a bed. Up a bit. You just sit down? Yeah, up a little bit. You, you go down like a depth of a bit, that's it. So, all in a good day's work. You can see the done the beam filling, got that done on this side. There is a two lintels behind that gap. And then a bit later on, well I'll probably show you when we're on it, but I got the slab prepped, prepped so to speak, the hard cores down, so that'll get whacked tomorrow, then sand, visqueen, and then hopefully concrete. I think we're mixing our own, so that should be a bit easier. So, yeah, we'll um, catch you tomorrow for the next ongoing adventure that this job is. <laughs> <laughs>